Just like cold and flu season ramps up in the fall and winter, doctors tell me we should be prepared to see this with coronavirus too. But in what seems ironic, they say the more people that get it right now, even without symptoms, the less people that will get it later in the year. Arizonans and the United States need to be prepared for the reality that coronavirus isn't going away. So the, the likelihood is high that once we get through this initial wave, we will see another wave. I'm going to say 80, 90 percent. I mean, I would be surprised if it didn't come back. We spoke with both Dr. Kara Christ, the medical director for the state health department and emergency medicine and toxicology doctor Frank Lavecchio about this. Dr. Lavecchio says a positive is herd immunity for when this likely hits again in several months. More likely than not, it's not going to be a severe. By the time the fall hits, a lot of us will have had this already. And because I may have had it, more likely than not, I will probably get it. I'll probably be immune to it. If get it once, more likely than not, won't be able to get it again. And Dr. Kara Christ echoed that, especially when it comes to the contagious factor. But as we get more and more of the population exposed, it shouldn't be able to be transmitted as efficiently. The two say a vaccine won't be ready in time for the fall and winter months this year, but they are hopeful medicine may be approved by then to at least help with treatment, which could save many lives. It would help us decrease the severity of the cases and hopefully the length that people are sick. And Dr. Lavecchio added that there aren't as many strains of coronavirus as the common flu, so that's what helps make it less likely for somebody to get it again if they've already had it. He also expects the United States to be more prepared with testing and data if we do see another wave hit in the next six months or so. Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.